Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today, uh, today's video, actually I was commented a lot of time that I need to combine these two. So I do actually combine these two to make the fairy wings or the dragon wings, but I thought why not show them. So what I'm doing here is I will be stacking these all together and I will be using the Angelina film, Angelina fiber, and I will be showing you different techniques on how you can heat this fusible film. So starting off with this film, so first of all what I will be doing is I will be scrunching up the film because uh, by doing so I believe the colors enhance more. So as you can see the colors are shifting by scrunching it. And in between I will be layering the Angelina fibers. So I, will, I am arranging different colors. You can arrange as you like. You can combine different combination of fantasy films, different colors. So this is really a fun project to work with. So here I have taken another piece of the Angelina film and I am scrunching it again. So now I will be topping it up with the baking paper. And with the iron on the low setting, I will be ironing it. Very carefully. So as you can see, it's already combining together. And as I told you that my baking paper has a texture on it. So it do goes on to the Angelina film as well. So by this way, you can see that the you know, film takes the texture as well. And you can use this in embossing machine as well so to get different floral prints. And so this is really a versatile sort of fantasy film. So really something fun to work with. So this is how it turned out after doing the ironing and I will be using the heat gun on top of it. So the colors are really pretty but the camera is not capturing it but believe me they are it's beautiful. And now I'm using the heat gun and with the heat gun it, it's going to get a bit uh, more scrunched up and the color will enhance. So use the heat gun from a bit afar. So with the heat gun you get a beautiful texture, sometimes you get uh, lines, sometimes you get bumps. So, And sometimes it, it too scrunches up and there, there, there you can get beautiful colors when they combine together. So I, th I think I'm happy with this one. So on to some next making more. So now I have taken the same fantasy film and now I will be adding some more Angelina fibers. Again, you can add different colors in between. So on top, I'm using another fantasy film now. So this is the different color, not the same one. So I'm combining and stacking here different Angelina film and fibers. So again, you can use an iron on top of it to get different effect. So I did that a lot. So this time I'm using heat gun. So from now I will be transitioning to the dichroic effect you can do by simply layering different sheets of fantasy film 
So this is a DIY dichroic. So I was just finding a glass slab to put underneath my uh, fantasy film because I, the texture of the baking paper underneath was getting onto the fantasy film. So I really don't want this time. So now you can see adding different layers. You can see how beautiful the color are combining together. So different films are fusing together and you are getting a beautiful result. This is something like magic happening in front of your eyes. So I really love and enjoy the process here. So here you can see the color it's giving. So totally loving it. So from this you can cut it and add into your projects. So this is another sheet that's ready. And here I have taken another color and first I am just heating it up. So you can see it's getting different lines and the fantasy film is giving out different shades of the color it holds. So I'm just, uh, you can see, gathering it up to get some lines and effect. So yesterday I shared um, in on my community a blog post by a lovely artist and there she have shared so many techniques to work with fantasy films. So if you like to have a look, you can go over to the community and see the blog post. So there are many techniques you can work with fantasy film. So now I'm happy with my film. So after heating this one, you can see the colors are again, you can see so many colors are coming through. So that one has different color effect. And now I will be adding another fantasy film to this one. And now with the heat, I will be combining these two. So in this way, you can make different sheets. And when you're working with them, you can cut out different textures and effect you get in the films. So beforehand. So it's flying here and there, but just keep a hold of it. So I got these two sheets and another one with previous one where I made. So on to the project now. So here I have taken because I'm having a beautiful effects. I thought why not give it a go and make a gecko out of it. So out of the sheets that I made. I will be selecting few. First of all, I am just pouring clear resin on into the gecko mold. And now from this sheet, I will be selecting the texture I like. And according to the size, I will be cutting it. So absolutely loving this diachroic effect. You can see it's Fox diachroic effect with the fantasy film or DIY, but really so fun to make. You can buy different colors of this fantasy film and stack them up, arrange your Angelina fibers. Again, you can add sequence to it. There are so many possibilities. So I'm just cutting off the extra. And I will leave this to dry for next day. And meanwhile, it's drying. I thought, why not make some cabochons? So I will be a bit experimental with the cabochons. 
So I was so enjoying the process that I kept on making few pieces that I wanted to like and add into my projects. So again, I'm taking the fantasy film of different kinds and I'm stacking them two together. And now I'm getting my fantasy film to the size of my cabochon. So I'm selecting where I have to put the fantasy film. So first I will be pouring the resin. And then I will be adding the fantasy film that's been stacked together with the, with the Angelina fibers. So I'm using the same combination of the fantasy film that I, I'm showing you. And with different backing I will be showing results. And now I'm using this hard one. So this is really fun and in some I will be adding the pieces and in some I will be adding the fantasy film in the shape. So this is really up to you. You can make bigger pieces to add into the coasters. So again really a fun idea. You can make so much out of it. And plus the scraps you get they are all usable. You can add them to different shapes and sizes and they are they will create a beautiful dichroic effect. So nothing is waste here with these film. So I'm just selecting the side where I want to pour because both sides are equally beautiful. But I have used different sheets on both sides so that's why I'm choosing the side. So now I'm getting up the sheet with the Angelina fibers and again different sizes. Now I'm cutting small pieces to create the dichroic effect. Pouring my clear resin down. And adding some fun elements I will be adding some alcohol ink. Just wanted to see that what the effect will be in alcohol inks. Because we are experimenting here so I like to experiment. So I am adding the inks. So you can go with the colors that complement each other. I am using orange and green just randomly. And now I will be adding the pieces. So onto this another heart. Here I will be adding the alcohol ink as well, but this is more concentrated alcohol ink. So just a few drops and it's really concentrated. And I'm directly adding it into the mold. So this one uh, was a bit full. 
because I wanted to keep it simple so that's why it was full so I got some spillage but that's fine I we are experimenting here So now I'm just adding more alcohol link and then I topped it with resin and then nothing, I will be just leaving it and we'll see you next day. So this is the next day and for, the, for this I will be using black resin and I will be simply topping it off for this gecko. And for my cabochons, I will be backing some with black. And for one, I thought why not give it a try and do a white backing just to see how it turns out. So we can have a comparison of which one looks better. So here is the white resin and I will be just pouring it onto the cabochon. And I decided to add black onto the alcohol one, just a thin layer. I will be, I will be not overdoing it. And after that, I will leave them to cure. So see you next day. So this is the next day and I'm so excited. Let's see how they turned out. First, we will be demolding the gecko as I made it first. So really carefully I will be demolding it because these teeny tiny feet are always so delicate. I, do, I don't want to break, break them. So let's see how it turned out and I really love it it's it too looks like a dichroic effect so beautiful just love it and that onto the black it's looking amazing so onto the cabochons uh, I was thinking which one to do so this was the first one so wow I'm just blown away by the fact you can see this is because I have layered different sheets together so you can see the color combination I'm so happy that the camera is picking up because these are the exact color I'm showing you and I'm seeing them myself. Really happy about this one. So let's see this one. To, to this one I added blue alcohol link. So yeah, it's a bit different. If I wouldn't add the blue, I would have got the same as the heart. It's beautiful. Something like a blue opal. It's This one looked like. So with the white. And this one is also pretty. I love it. With the white it looks different it's the same sheet but beautiful colors it's like an opal i have captured opal um really <laughs> so beautiful 
but this heart has my heart it's beautiful so you can see the intense color is because I heated the film a bit more so it did had some crunch in it so this one was the intense with the purple color the purple purple gold ink that was concentrated so yeah it's beautiful as well so I had some leftover resin I thought to make a set out of it so I will be making some of these into earrings but again they are so beautiful it's like a black opal something hidden inside and this one was with the orange and green alcohol ink and yeah this is giving the dichroic effect where you add pieces so all in all I'm really happy how it turned out so this is outside so I'm just loving the effect and yeah so I hope you all like it and love it and I was getting so many amazing comments for, from a lot of people to do this, this technique and I'm really happy I did it. Plus I did a DIY dichroic effect. I know there are so many tutorials already available for these but I did this the dichroic effect myself for the first time. I did stack them and made wings but never I did add it into the resin so this is first time. So I'm really happy about it. So I hope you like it. And if you did, please do let me know in comments. And also please like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider do so. And you can see how beautiful these turned out. And I hope you will be making, you all will be making these. And enjoying this lovely piece of craft. So take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.